Hey guys, do you know those photos, you know, like the one that you can see down here, where the water is running off the edge of the screen? How do you straighten them out? You know, how do you prevent this water from running off your photo? So let's have a look at a few different ways in which we can tackle this in Photoshop CS5. With the very first method, we'll use the crop tool. Just going to click and drag a crop area out here. And what we do now is move our cursor outside the crop area so that we can click and drag and rotate this crop area. And the trick here is to align the rotation angle, to line that up with the horizon. So you can sort of see the, the third line here. And I'm just going to expand that now just to get a reasonable image area out. And I think that's, you know, I'm just about happy with that. Just apply that by double clicking and there's our result. Now obviously we have a little bit of a problem in that we ended up with some canvas area being filled with the background color and we might need to use Photoshop's new content aware fills feature to fix that. So for instance if I just grab my polygon lasso tool, roughly cover part of the image here, select that area, go to the image um, edit menu, choose fill and apply content aware fill then Photoshop will perform a little bit of magic to try and correct that and then I can do that really with all of these corners I can do that in one hit uh, let me just deselect that for a second we'll select all of these corners hold on the shift key to select just that little bit more and we'll see how it's going to do a job down here overall it will save us a lot of time you know, if you need to use your clone stamp tool and do all this retouching manually, it takes a little bit longer, but the content of where fill will really help out here. And let's deselect that. So that's oh, that's a pretty good result. Didn't take too long to do that. I'm just going to jump back to the original here using the history panel. And we'll now use another feature, and that is the ruler method. Now, in earlier versions of Photoshop, you could use this method, but it had a little bit of a roundabout way. What you'd do is click and drag with the ruler, and again, you'd line up the ruler with the horizon, so the angle that is going to be the horizon. And once you did that, you could go to the image menu, you could go to image rotation and do an arbitrary rotation. Um, this would automatically pick up the angle that you set the ruler in. And I could click on OK. And again, what we see is the rotated image. And we'll, we end up with all of this extra canvas. I can use the content aware fill option, obviously, again, to try and fill that out. But Photoshop CS5 makes it even easier. Select the ruler. Click and drag roughly the horizon that you want to have. And then in your tool options for the ruler, let's have a look. There's a straighten button right there. Woohoo! I'm going to click it and see what happens. How's that? That is just too quick, too easy. Awesome! I like it. I think that's the method I'm going to use from now on.